This video will go over how to enter chem field files in FUDSCHEM. Chem field files are digitized versions of the chains of custody, COCs, and are used to ensure completeness of lab deliverables later on. It is important to enter this information soon after sampling to prevent delays with lab data submission. We will also go over how to generate pre-populated COCs and bottle labels to take into the field. Before entering a chem field file, we recommend entering your event planning information, even if sampling has already ended. Doing so will pre-populate several fields in your chem field files and ensure that FUDSCHEM's event tracking reports will run. This step is completed under Tools, Data, Event Management. For more information, refer to our Event Management Tutorial videos, linked in the description. For this example, we have already filled out Event Management, so we will begin entering our chem field file. If you want to generate COCs and bottle labels to take into the field, you will need to create a chem field file that contains the samples you plan to collect. We will set up our chem field file with this initial data, then fill out the rest later once we have completed the COC. Go to Tools, Data Submission. Choose the project and event. Choose Field Sampling Chem Field as the data type and click Create a File. As a best practice, we recommend creating one chem field file per COC. Doing so keeps the data organized, prevents interface slowdown, and makes it easier to back out data for editing if needed. If you have multiple COCs, start by creating a chem field file for the first one, then create a new file for the next one. For this example, we only have one COC to enter, so we will only need one chem field file. Select all of the locations that you want to include in your chain of custody and move them over using the arrow. If you do not see the locations you need, try unchecking the boxes. Our locations are visible because we already added them to the Locations tab of Event Management. For more information, refer to our Event Management Tutorial Part 1 video, linked in the description. Next, enter the sampling date. If you want this field to be blank on the COC so the samplers can fill it out by hand, set the date to January 1st, 1900. Click Save. Next, we'll go to the Test Methods tab. In our case, we already chose our methods in Event Management, so we will not need to make any edits here. For more information, please refer to our Event Management Tutorial Part 1 video, linked in the description. Go to the Add Field Data tab. The information that we entered in Event Management automatically shows up here, but there are still a few fields we need to fill out, in particular the COC ID. The COC ID is determined by the contractor and does not affect the lab. To populate this field, select all of the samples and click Replace. Select COC ID and enter a new value. Ours will be 081124A. Then click Replace in Selected Rows. The remaining info will be provided by our field team, so we will leave it blank for now and revise it later. Click Save, and then Submit File. Clicking Submit File automatically screens the file for errors and ensures that the changes save properly. If the file has errors, click the number of errors to access an error report. For assistance troubleshooting errors, please reach out to your Synaptix point of contact. Once the file is error-free, you can generate a chain of custody and bottle labels. First, Let's rename the file so that it will be easy to identify later. 
we recommend naming chem field files after the COC ID. In this case, COC 081124A. To generate a chain of custody, go to Reports, Chemistry Reports. There are multiple COC reports available. The regular chain of custody report can be used to generate a COC for the samples in the file that we just created. If your file contains air samples, you can instead use the air option, which includes extra fields specific to air sampling. There are also blank COCs available that can be used to record any unanticipated samples. For this example, we will choose Chain of Custody Report. Fill out the drop-downs and click View Report. This report includes everything we entered, along with contact information and addresses for the contractor and lab. To request updates to these fields, reach out to your Synectix point of contact. You can add blank rows to record unanticipated samples by using the Additional Rows option. We could save this report as a PDF or spreadsheet and send it out with our field team. Let's return to our main window. Back under Reports, Chemistry Reports, there are also several bottle label options available. The Avery number refers to the size of sticker label to use for printing. We'll select the 1 by 3 inch option. We'll choose our project, event, and the COC whose labels we want to print, then click View Report. The labels include the sample names and analysis methods from our chem field file, and the preservation and container information from our eQAP. We could save this as a PDF and send it to our field team to print onto sticker labels. The blank versions of these reports include the bold labels on the left, but are blank for the sample ID, analyses, and preservation bottle fields. Let's move forward in time to when our field team returns with the final information we need. We will finish filling out our chem field file. Under Tools, Data Submission, click Edit next to the file name. Our field team has provided sampling dates and times, sampler initials, and a lab shipped date. Let's say that all of our samples were collected on the same day. We'll click the Replace button, choose Sampling Date, and enter the date that the samples were collected, in this case, August 11th, 2024. Click Replace in selected rows. Using the same process, we will replace the sampler initials with VM and the lab shipped date with August 12, 2024. Next, we will enter the times for each sample individually. All times should be entered in HHMM format. Let's say our field team was not able to sample 477S. We can delete it from the chem field by selecting it and clicking the Delete Rows button. This will not remove the sample from event management, so FUD's chem's event tracking reports will still show that it was planned. If the sample is collected as part of a different COC, we'll be able to add it to another chem field file later. Let's say our field team included a blank on this COC. To add it, select the samples that the blank will qualify, in this case all of them. Click the Add Field QC button. Enter the date and time for the blank.
select the type of blank. In this case, trip blank. Next, we will enter the sample ID. Note that all field samples and field QCs must have unique names. That means you can't name every trip blank, trip blank. The FUDSCHEM user manual, located under Quick Links, has an appendix for recommended naming conventions. We'll follow the recommendation and name our trip blank TB-1 underscore 2Q 2024. Including a number and time frame indicator will ensure it is unique. Highlight the analyses that will be run on the trip blank and click Insert Field QC Record. The trip blank will appear as a separate row, and the TB lot column will automatically populate to link it to the corresponding samples. Similarly, ambient blanks will populate the AB lot field, and equipment blanks will populate the EB lot field. Note that the lot number for the blank is not populated because it cannot qualify itself. For more in-depth information on ChemField entry, please refer to the ChemField Advanced videos in the Event Management and Field Data ChemField Tutorials playlist, linked in the description. Now that we've entered all of the information from our field team, click Save, then Submit File to screen it for errors. For assistance troubleshooting errors, please reach out to your Synectics point of contact. If you want to QC your file before certifying it, you can go to Reports, Chemistry Reports, Field Data QC to review the entries. Once the file is complete and error-free, select it in the interface and click Certify. Now the lab can load their data for these samples and methods. Be sure to submit ChemField files for any additional COCs you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to the FUDSCHEM YouTube channel for more tutorial videos. All of the tutorials and playlists mentioned during this video are linked in the description below. Lastly, if you have questions or comments, feel free to contact us at fuds.support at synaptics.net. Thank you.